Hey. Hello. My name's Tad. <laughs> Bacon <Bacon-ated. laughs> It's on. Okay, we're good. You yeah, see, you're good. All the now, I think I'm good. Okay, you're but good. It's you're good. Bye. 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 Today I have with me my lovely sister Erin and we're going to be opening a bunch of Try the World boxes. I got a deal on Cyber Monday so I got three of these boxes for the price of one and I believe we have Portugal, Brazil, and a holiday box but we'll see. Ooh, um, we did not have enough breakfast so um, this should prove delicious hopefully. Yeah. Do you have a preference on which box we start with? I'm going to say the one that is nearest me. Okay, let's go with that. I'm not at all sure. Um, as Claire would say, the packaging is quite beautiful. Beautiful turquoise color. I'm all about gifts because you know I hate, like I am terrible at buying gifts. Well, so these boxes are pretty great. So they're beautiful. Steal them. Um, they're I'm actually gifts. using a couple of them for Christmas this year. Perfect. Oh, so we, with, so we have Portugal. 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 Okay. okay. So every box comes with like a culture guide. So it'll let you know like what's in it and what you should do with it. On the full size boxes they have like recipes and like how to have an entire experience with whatever the country is. Cause I know our Moroccan one started with like ginger tea and then it moved into couscous and all that. But these are like slightly smaller cause they were on like a, up experience, a dude. Yeah. So what, what are we starting out with today? What has it got? What um, well it's whatever today? you pull out with, whatever, whatever you pull out first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so. Okay, again. again. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So we've got black tea. It looks like a first. This is apple and cinnamon black tea. Mm. It's it. Yeah. It this reminds it me of that brand. it works, it but brand. hopefully it's a lot better. Sorry. <laughs> Weight loss tea. Um, Let's not. Blending black tea from the Indian tropics with leaves, flowers, and fruit grown in the mountains. Wow. Portugal. Apple and cinnamon aroma makes this tea a wonderful cold weather pick me up. Does it smell good? Apple and cinnamon? Are you so good? it? I mean, I think it has a resealable, right? Or you ready? Not. You ready? Ah. Uh, oh, it's. Oh, it smells like apple cider. Oh, it kind of smells like. Um, this is perfect. Like. Um, oh, look at it. What is that stuff that you put in a room? Mm. Like dry apple slices. Oh, po it's potpourri. It smells like potpourri. <laughs> potpourri, kind of. Or Ooh, those, but those floral. Um, holiday pots that you put, you know, your cinnamon, your apple on the stove. Yes. A holiday mm. hot pot. I think now that's what with they call this, those. you will need a uh, what are the what is steeper? Called? Steeper because it's loose tea. it is loose. All right, absolutely mm. beautiful. I think next it says something about codfish seasoning Ooh. for codfish. Oh, you can just like throw that in the box. And I will. Pull over. Okay. Um, is that more tea? Oh no. no it's oh, that's the bay leaves seasoning. and stuff. That's some miniature bay leaves. Hands on earth specialized in producing organic herbs and seasoning. Use it, mix into breading or season steamed fish. How are you gonna put that big shiver in really it, stuffing? You don't have to open that. Oh. I'm just talking about opening the stuff that's edible. Yeah. But what is, it, what is it saying that we need to do? Use it for breading or seasoning steamed fish. Breading? How are you gonna put that in breading? You're gonna have to I don't want to eat that. I don't want to eat one. Next. Next. <laughs> Very nice packaging though. Hands on earth. Ooh. Rare jams. Oh. Hell yeah. They're delicious over toaster alongside a selection of hard and pungent cheese loaves. So how do you say this word? Rocha? Roca? I don't know. I'm not Portuguese. Portuguese. We've got some Rocha or Roca pear jam. Um, we can try it if you want. I mean, I didn't realize this box wasn't going to have a lot of like eaty things. That's I think okay. the holiday box will be a lot of But eaty. hey, this is 55% pear. Mm. You know it's real, guys. Yes. Thank you. It's Cuenta de Hugues. Yeah, we'll go with that. That. Do you just want to open it and like have a little lick? lick? Oh, did you really just yeah, it? Yeah, Oh, it's like thick. Ooh. Oh, it smells really good. Mm. You go. Very, very sweet. Ooh. That'd we be should have had a biscuit. We I should have had a biscuit. We, <laughs> we had declared that um, we needed bread. Yeah, breakfast. yeah, we should have had some sort of starch, but that's a lot of work, man. Her boyfriend Tad was just sitting there because I forgot eggs, and I went to the store yesterday to get eggs, but I ended up just we getting had bacon and toilet paper. But I knew that we were gonna have these boxes, so hopefully there's some <laughs> stuff for us to eat in the next one. I know the holiday box will have more stuff to eat. I didn't realize these smaller boxes were all like condiments. This looks awesome. Bombas. What is that? This is olive Extra oil. Extra virgin olive oil, slightly earthy and spicy olive oil. Ha ha. Suitable for butter. Oh, substitute for butter. I was like, what do you mean <laughs> suitable for butter? That's pretty. 
The problem is, sometimes I want to re-gift these things because I'm like, oh, that would be cute and like a gourmet mm -hmm. But then I want to like open it. Well, that logo works. really isn't as grandiose as some of them are, but it still looks awesome. Oh, oh well. Okay, it's so still then, cool. We'll do some close-ups. Piri Piri hot sauce. Oh, I like Piri Piri. Let's try that. Okay. Look at that. Look all at the tongues on it. I'm kind of scared. This is like Rocky Horror Picture Show. It says a quintessentially Portuguese condiment. And this hot sauce was first introduced to Europe in the 15th century. Our Christopher really Columbus like came though. back home with. I really like this. I like your juice, but I'm worried though that it's gonna be like. <gasps> Look at it. It's got a tongue on it. It's so cute. Not a good sign. No, I like that. The tongue. I also like the devil out of peppers. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, it's kind of like a. It's child safe. Oh. That's so much work. Oh, and it even has a safety lock. Like, seriously. Apparently. Is this a... <laughs> we do not want our kids... Toxic substance to, to get into this. All right, stick your finger on that, that lid. All right, we're going to see. I'm going to get a little grip on myself. Is it really hot? Mmm, that's flavorful. This is really good on, like, fish tacos. Oh, that is so flavorful. Mm. This is what... That's I, a good hot sauce. That's the only time I've ever used period period sauces on, like, a fish taco. Mmm. Oh, I think we've got something we can eat though. Canned fish! Oh god, no. <laughs> god, I don't want to eat this. Let's do it! <laughs> Real singer, man. Oh no, that's not even the cocktail. We've got mackerels. Mackerels. Dad would be so into this. We should give this to him for Christmas. Yes! Okay, so wait, she just got herself out of the yeah. game. Because I don't want to eat this. But Max Corey, my dad really, or our dad, really loves mackerel. Well, yeah, every time we go and have sushi, he gets a sushi dinner, but he always substitutes the octopus for, for mackerel because he and likes oily is, fish. This is jack mackerels in olive oil from Portugal. It says cook it into fried rice or blend it into pesto. Oh, but you know what? Yeah. that would be good in pesto. Internationally, they treat their canned fish way differently than we do. Like you can't, like in the United That's States, like, like cat food. No, it's like the, it preserves the fish so perfectly, and it's, it's got, got the, the olive flavoring. oil. So you've got the flavor of the olive oil, and it's fruity and delicious. Mm -hmm. So well, the good thing is it doesn't expire until 2021. So we got a while. All right, next box. All right, next box. Okay. Thank you, Portugal. Another try the world. Cute little blue box. Um, this one is Brazil. Brazil. So you're in charge of reading the, oh yeah, we're definitely going to have like chimichurri sauce and stuff. Oh, that. yeah. Okay, what is Actually, this? Actually, that's, that's not chimichurri. Churrasco sauce. mix, is that what I just read? Uh, yes, churrasco spice mix. It's committed to what healthy living. What is churrasco, living. guys? Is that uh, something I should know? It is okay, an essential doing? addition. To you Brazilian barbecue. Yeah. You have to cut like really close to the zipper to be like, able to this open is it. um this is how this is essential for their barbecue flavors. Oh, is this like whenever you go to like a Brazilian meat house and they like skin the meat off like onto your plate it and you have the flags? Yeah. I've always wanted to go to Oh that. my god, that smells awesome. Ooh. For like everything, not yeah. just Brazilian stuff. I kinda wanna taste it though. Oh, okay. I can get it open, I think, maybe. Sorry guys. It's kind of chunky, so like just flick like your finger and I don't know if you can <laughs> get a little of this. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. Mm. Is there bay leaves in like every I think thing? So. Yeah. Like I for some reason thought that that wouldn't be it's like, a, in everything. Yeah, there's a lot of bay leaf mm. in that. I got a little garlic. Is there some cumin? Paprika, garlic, onion, parsley, thyme. Thyme is the big one. That's Rosemary, turmeric, basil, coriander, and mustard. Ooh, this is all the paprika at the bottom. That'd be good on some Ria. I got a cute little, looks like a perfume bottle. What is it? <laughs> okay, perfume oh, bottle. not perfume. Nope. Oh, that's a, a piranha. <laughs> Strong a body. Piranha. Oh, it's coffee. Special coffee ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so Brazilians, fun fact, Brazilians produce over a third of the world's coffee. Again, this is one of those things where you can like give it to somebody and keep it's it. So it's so cute. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah, peanut candy bars. Pascoquita. That. I love that. We're gonna eat this peanut. It's sugar a and Brazilian salt. candy made oh, from ground peanuts. So little sugar and salt. I just dumped them all out. They're little. Here, half a pascaquita. Bite in half, so we, in case it's not like delicious. Okay. Meal. <laughs> so this is this looks like an oversized piece of gum, essentially. It's really hard though. I think it's gonna be peanut brittle this because it's really not focusing. No, it's not because we have faces in. Okay, it. so I have to like alter that. But anyway, um, we'll we'll do some close-ups. 
Peanut, sugar, and salt are the only three ingredients. Something yeah. that's gonna be peanut brittle. It's really like the texture is very squishy. <laughs> squishy? I thought it was hard. No, it's pretty squishy. Okay, well. Like soft caramel. Oh, so it's like caramel peanuts and things. Yeah. Um. Oh, like yeah. Play-Doh. This is almost could be a dog treat. <laughs> Don't say that too loud. I'm sorry. Ah, kind of crumbly. Ooh. It's um like peanut butter, but more. It's like powdered sugar mixed with peanut butter. Mmm. Nah, I mean, that's good. Yeah, the texture's a bit off for me, though. You don't like the texture? Uh -huh. Oh. A little crumble. Oh, mm. no, it's like a peanut butter cookie. That's good. Yeah. You know? Without mm. the baking. Mmm. So that's That'd fun. be a good base for a, um... Made in Rio. I mean, a peanut sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For poultry, game, pork, and vegetables. Made in Rio. Um, Ooh. herbs, whiskey spelled incorrectly, spices, <laughs> mustard powder, black pepper powder, this is, is also, black pepper already a, this is also um, part of their barbecue stuff. Do you want to open it? I can manhandle it. I'm really good at that. It doesn't have any ridges. <laughs> See, I say that. <laughs> Babe, Ted, yeah. need you, need you. The safety button isn't working. Oh. Can I get you to like manhandle the hell out of this? Can you open that, please? Uh -oh. Oh, oh, thank we, you. We loosened that for you. Yeah. Stick your finger in and taste it. It's like Brazilian. You can't even taste it. <laughs> like, this is what you know the the Brazilian this is like steakhouse their barbecue sauce. sauce. This is apparently what they put on it. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Whoa, so many flavors. That would go really well with that sauce. This seasoning mix. Again, these little boxes don't have recipes, but I think if we got like a full size Portugal box, it would have like. A way to use those together, probably. And something large. Oh my. Oh, it's guava paste! Guava paste! I like guava. Can we try this? Yeah, absolutely. It kind of reminds me texture. That's really good. Why do you do with this? this? Well, you just eat it? Run. Oh no, I have the wrong one. Gluten free! Hey, celiac fans out there. Melt it into a meat glaze, spread onto bread or dessert. I can so, see that. So, I'm thinking this box. Is is themed barbecue. <laughs> it's themed meat. But there's still something in here. Stuff in there. Ooh. Ooh. Haboticaba jam. Ooh. Okay. It's jam jam kind. Ooh. Mm. That's an interesting little. Okay. Kind of like blackberry. Yeah. But slightly different. Yeah. Like a fruit. Mm -hmm. Of like a stone fruit mixed with a blackberry. Mm -hmm. and a little cherry-ish. Let's go with that. So that was Portugal. Portugal. No, no, that was Brazil. Brazil. All right, next Who's we have. Who's obsessed with barbecue? A super cute Michelin um, holiday box. I'm excited on it. because we can actually eat this. Yeah, seriously. Oh, here it is. So this is what I mean. Oh, a normal full-size Try the World box has this whole culture guide in here, including recipe in the back. So, I'm a fan of that. This is curated by the chef of Le Bernardine. Ooh. Here we go, a Try the World exclusives. Oh, look, there's a Birchbox coupon. Oh, I did that. Ooh, Ooh you're a mate. Okay, so this is really delicious tea, but it's like naturally very stimulating. And <laughs> it's an energy tea though. Yeah, so it is. Um, I don't think any of this <laughs> Well, I'm just saying. Oh, look at all, look at this. Does it smell like anything? Okay. Um, Super herb, citrus and mint for vitality and focus. This oh. is the cutest box I've ever seen in oh my life. Oh my god! You can't tell, but it's like an origami pineapple. Oh my god! From somewhere, um, mini pineapple cakes. <gasps> oh, every time I watch an unboxing where somebody you're eating these, they're always like, "Oh, it's so good!" So, oh, oh. thank you, <laughs> Aaron. This is whatever this says. Look how cool! It's a oh. origami swirl box. Okay, keeping it. Pineapple cake. <laughs> Have one. Look how cute! They're like adorable. They kind of look like um, those towels where you can put it in the water and it expands yeah. the towel. Um, like in Spy? Yeah. Wait, Spy Kids? No, Spy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Where she, she, she puts it in and she's like, A uh, buttery cake filled with sweet, tangy jam. It's a ubiquitous pastry in it's Taiwan. It has butter in it, so I'm good with it. Not what I thought. Mm -mm. Mmm, weird. But not bad. Mmm. -mm. It's like a fig newton. Mmm. -mm. Mm -mm. But like the texture wise. Or like a pound cake. 
A pound cake fig Newton with pineapple. And super dense, no holes. Super dense. Mmm. Very buttery. I don't mind the There's pineapple. There's the pineapple in the back. You kind of need the pineapple in the milk because otherwise yeah. the cake would be too dry. Yeah. I am a fan. That's good. But it's really rich, so you can only eat one at a time. I'm glad we're in for the wrap. Coffee. Yeah. Mmm. From South Africa, Fritz and Hinty, the duo behind this toffee. Mmm. <laughs> Alright. Oh, like I said, we're gonna do. <laughs> Is there hair in it? Or is oh my god, I think it was that cold. Oh. Yeah, it is. Oh hey. god. Oh, I just can't. I thought the sounds coming from the wrapper were coming from your mouth. <laughs> oh, they're really hard. I'm going to power through, man. We have other things to eat. Um, but that's just gross for me to spit it out. I'll put it back in there. This is like burnt coffee. <laughs> oh, it tastes really good. It tastes good, but it's like, it's cooked. <laughs> Much longer than your traditional coffee. You can taste that. Next. Um, yeah, see, you might want to spit yours out. And... Uh, I'm done. We have Canadian maple cookies. There's not even any yeast. <laughs> Why would you not want yeast? Like, how is that going to be bad for you? Do you? Well, gluten free, or whatever. But spruce wood. Hand do you normally hand. make cookies with yeast? I don't. But I'm saying maybe somebody has like a yeast allergy. Mm -hmm. But I'm. Why? Yeast is like a superfood. That's very specific. Give me a little snip. Ooh. Oh. Oh. This is. How dull are yours? These okay, are we're really good. hard. <laughs> These are from Ma uh, Maple District of Canada. <laughs> oh, Canada! Like Hunger Games. <laughs> District Canada. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. mm. I thought it was going to taste more mapley because of the overwhelming smell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's just sweet and There's awesome. There's so much butter in this. It's so good. I'm so glad there is. Mm. Mm. Merry Christmas to all. There's only six ingredients. Especially, no. Is it butter the number one? Flour. Butter. Yes. Sugar. Maple syrup and rice flour. Dude. Oh, yes. Mm. yes. Not gluten free. <laughs> well, I don't think these yeast need yeast. Mm. This holiday box. Where does it go? Go, go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my God. But it put it in like a sweet application. Um, Dude. Back here, it's a truffle dip. That you mix with. Oh, okay, no one. Oh my gosh. Crimp brush, mayonnaise, truffle sauce, chives, lemon juice, and salt. Dude, that would be really good. Ooh, that's what we can bring to. How um, is this here? How is this in this box? They put truffles in a lot of stuff. My Italy box? I don't box? need Ted. Yeah. I don't need a man. My Italy box had truffle dust God. in it. Oh my. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Okay. I'm not worthy at all. At all. Oh. Oh. It's like perfectly seasoned with pepper and everything too. Mm -hmm. And then, ooh, date spread. <sighs> if you aren't relaxed and you need something to relax you, just sniff. Some How my date sauce. spread going to have hazelnuts in it? How is it not going to have? No, but not in the in ingredient. It. It's Israeli date spread, but it said it may have some hazelnuts, Walmart, walnuts, sesame, and soy. Mm, that stuff is good. <laughs> I don't need a man! Oh yeah, Fig Newton all day. Mm. Woman, woman power. Mm. Fig Newton all yeah. day. Put your finger into it. Oh, this stuff is probably really expensive. Mmm. Mmm. Dates are so good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. That tastes like... The date. That the is date. like a sticky chocolate pudding. Yeah! Mm -hmm. Which is maybe the dates, coincidentally. If the date brought me those dates, it'd be You'd a great be in date. for a date. It'd be a great ginger snaps. Okay. Oh, the date spread. Oh, I already said it's from Israel. These are from Sweden. Sweden. Oh my god, look how thin they are. Aaron, these are gonna be some snappy, snappy ginger snaps. Snaps. Alright, you ready? 
Traditionally baked in Sweden. You know, where were they actually baked? In, in Sweden. Sweden! They're saying in traditional ginger snaps. Well, <laughs> you're like, where are they but, made? Well, where are they really? These smell like those Biscoff uh, cookies. Oh, yeah. oh, I didn't have a bite, I broke. Hmm, not a good reason. Wow. Hmm. It's kind of like a good one. No, but what's that? What is Almond. That? No. Cinnamon, clove, ginger. Clove. No, that's not it. <laughs> coconut oil? No, I can't taste coconut oil. It might be the clove. There's a lot of clove in this. I think it's very cinnamony. Kind of. Kind of. I don't mean most ginger snaps are, but there's a lot of clove in this. I love the texture. Mm -hmm. And lastly, mm. spice bread mix, so we can't eat it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Organic baking mix. Spices here. Oh. Where is this from? You know what the spices are? Mm. Spices. Wow. Are they Very specific. specific. France. I'll say. I've actually had panda in pieces. I am saying that so wrong, but I have had this before. Say it right. I don't know how. Okay. So I was literally <laughs> like, I would not say words when I was living in France. I would like try my best to just be like that. <laughs> and they appreciate when you try, but they don't I want you to try. I like it because no, but they don't want you to say it. Like try too hard because then they think you're actually like making fun of them. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like if you go overly like, like pan de spices. Yeah. Then they're gonna be they like, say, uh, I hate your life. Pinch yourself. You're gonna be like, out my bakery. Go back to America. Boy. But I like they really like if you would try like I'd be like, un me back yet, and they'd be like, okay, oh that's pretty good. Well, that I, I practice it every day. <laughs> I want a baguette. Because I would go and get a half a baguette every day. A Demi baguette is like... You're my hero just because you did that. Every day I got a baguette from France. Well, so, I was at... But I was not trouble. trying to say bread of spices. This is spice bread. I need spice bread, please. So, Could you say together. things in, in English? Would yeah. they understand? Yeah. Like, I want some spice bread. Well, no. I want a loaf of bread. Well, it depends on what you were saying. If you said like spice bread, they wouldn't know what you were talking about. Mm. So you'd try and say this bread, bread. spice, like, pan de pieces. So pan is bread, bread, but they said it like pain. That's important. Well, I guess it's kind of a pain to make really good bread, but it's a passion. passion. Your heart's in it. Okay, so what are our big winners? I would say the truffle sauce for show, son. Yeah. Um, I also really enjoyed the hot sauce. Yeah, I think the date spread was delicious. Date spread was great. Um, oh, and these. Oh, maple so shortbread. So good. But I'm generally a fan of anything maple. Yeah. I mean, anything to bread, butter wise. Butter is like the staple of life. Do you think it was worth $29.99? Yes. Uh, with all of this, definitely. So, like I said, guys.